Good morning. My name is Greg Davis and I'm with EBS SarkSafe. Today we're at Advanced Electric and Motor Control Centers at Irving, Texas. This is one of the group CBS companies. What they specialize in is low voltage motor control centers, low voltage molded case circuit breakers, insulated cir case circuit breakers, and fuse switches. Uh, they can service products from World War II up to today. Today, all the equipment we're going to be looking at is going to be brand new equipment. But as I said, they can deal with things that are all the way back to the World War II vintage and do retrofits on these and help you with any retrofill circuit breakers and motor control center packages that you need for that operation without modifying your current vintage, just putting in plug and play type systems. The first system we're going to look at today is an RSA 33 or correction, an RSA 39 for the General Electric E9000 series. The E9000 series has basically three size switches. There's the small one, which can come in a vertical or a horizontal. And then you have a main also, and then what we would call a size five or size five, which is just slightly smaller than the main. And we've got actuators for all these. Now, one of the things you're gonna notice is we're gonna introduce another product line, our MarTech uh, remote switching kits. And one of the things to understand about that is this. If I have several different types of motor control centers in a single substation, our RSA lineup will be what you're after. But if you only have one type of motor control center, then you may be looking at the RSK systems as the more cost effective. And if you've got any questions about that, don't be afraid to email us at info at cbsarcsafe.com. This one's going to use the RSO one today. With this, we're simply gonna hook it up with the four pin connector here. I can either operate it from about 30 feet away with the control box of the RSO one, or I can operate it up to 100 meters away with my wireless control. We see we've got a good radio link. If I were to walk over here, you can keep an eye on the RSA while I do this, and I simply hit the close button and the trip button, and it accomplishes the operation while you are outside the arc flash hazard boundary. This RSO box can operate over 300 different actuators. So if you have multiple types of actuators in the substation, this is the cost effective way to go for remote switching. If we want to move to a Square D Model 6 lineup, one of the things to understand is Square D Model 6 handles come in two sizes. You have the original Model 6 and those had I-line circuit breakers in them is what we refer to them as, and the newer vintage has the power pack. If you have a combination of those, you may actually need two actuators for the same one because these handles come in different sizes. And again, we're in the open position, so we're simply going to push the close button, hold it down for the travel, and the trip for the operation. Yep. So whenever you take it off, disconnect the RSO from the control box. You can also turn the RSO box off at the same time. One twist on magnet. Remove it, and that's how easy it is to take the RSA off. The next one, this is going to be the first RSK or remote switching kit we're going to show you all. Okay, this is the the actuator itself, this is what comes inside the kit. So you've got a battery charger, you've got 
a Milwaukee lithium ion battery that comes with it and the remote handle operator for it as far as this goes. So this is made to fit on Cutler Hammer. Um, now this, this vintage is, goes back to the Westinghouse original uh, 2100 series, then it was Freedom, then it was Five Star, Five Star Advantage. So it's gone through different names, but it's still for us the same type of handle that somebody's gonna use. So it mounts fairly easy. Even if you've got two handles, and this is the reason we're picking this one right here, is so we can operate both. We'll put our battery on here now. And it says on here, press to wake or press to sleep. So we're gonna hit press to wake. And then we're gonna step out of the way. And that's the ease of operation of the RSK system. This can be operated from around 50 plus feet away from the motor control center. So you can stay outside the r class hazard boundary when you do this. Do you want me to show it one more time? Oh yes, and dual buckets. Um, the reason I put it on this one is because I wanted to show that it fits over the handle on the other side. So if I need to move this over to the other one and operate it, then I can do this one just by moving it. And it fits, let me see, is it awake? Yes. The next RSK we're gonna look at, this is brand new. This is for the Siemens TSR. Some of you may have an older system, uh, Siemens bought up furnace system 89. So if you go, gee whiz, I have buckets that look the same as this, but it says furnace on it. There's a reason. It's because Siemens bought up furnace. And so you can have a Siemens TSR right next to a furnace 89, and it's going to be the exact same system. This has the uh, same simple magnet. I'm going to just take it off and put it on real quick for everybody to see. So it just mounts right on over the handle, locates right in there. We hit the wake up button. And now, normally you would step away from this to be able to operate it, but just for the sake of the demonstration today, we're gonna And that's the ease of operation of the system. Then when you're all done, you hit the sleep button and you take it down from the motor control center. Okay. The last one we have today is Allen Bradley Centerline, the IntelliCenter type sandal. And what you're gonna see is the plastic handle here. Uh, things to note about Allen Bradley, your older center lines were metal handles and those come in a couple of different sizes with the different range travels. This is the newer center line that's out there. Bulletin, I think it's 2100 series motor control center. If you look at the, the data plate down here and just check on it. This is easy again to set up and operate. Let me just take it off here for a second so everybody can see. These are simple little twist magnets that are just smaller than the other ones we were using the other day for the big ones. Down this, there we go. We hit our wake button. And I'm sorry as far as camera position, but it's simple enough to operate again. We hit the yellow button for basically enabling. And then we're going to hit our close button. And our trip button. And again, you can operate this from 50 to 70 feet away so that you can safely be outside the arc class hazard boundary. While you can't look at the stuff today, they've got GE Power Break 1, GE Power Break 2. They've got the Westinghouse SPBs. They've got the uh, Siemens SB breakers. 
and the newer Siemens WL breakers in stock. So there's lots of stuff here that you just can't see back behind you today in the warehouse. And uh, you can look them up again at aeamc.com. For questions about, or you can go submit your questions uh, calling us through our 1-800 numbers, basically one 472 uh, three, eight, three, three, eight, nine. And, uh, ask us questions that way. Uh, you also can look at our product finder online. Do we have questions, Ben? Okay. Okay. So let's say you've got older GE 7098 gear or 7700 or 8000. They we have actuators for those and advanced electric and motor controls can do uh, retrofills on those for you. If you've got the older uh, Freedom Unitrol buckets, they've got things for that also. Uh, you've got the older ITE Gould 5600 buckets. These are things that we've done actuators for and products that they can help you with. You could have the older ITE, uh, I think they're the Cordon series molded case circuit breakers, and they've got the replacements for those also. So while I can't show you what's behind me in the warehouse today, I'm just going to tell you that this stuff is stacked about 20 feet up to the ceiling in here and on about 10 shelves on either side going to my left and to my right for stock and inventory to help people out. Uh, Advanced electric and motor controls, just like CBS, ArcSafe, and all the group CBS companies have 24 hours, seven days a week support, whether it's online or through emergency phone call service to help you out. Uh, they asked if we're going to be testing remote racking units today for MCC buckets. We're going, we don't have the bucket extractor here for demonstration purposes today. Uh, we're looking at doing a bucket extractor demo uh, in one of our next presentations. Uh, things to understand about that are we have a list of various motor control center buckets that we've done tooling for. So uh, that list continues to expand. So uh, I can give you some of the types of tooling off the top of my head. We have done the Allen Bradley IntelliCenter. We've also done the uh, uh, Secure Connect for the Allen Bradley. So if anybody's got that, they can look up our Secure Connect product. Uh, you can buy that either from us or from Allen Bradley. We've done uh, stuff for both the Siemens and the Furnace System 89 TSR. We The first motor control center uh, bucket extractor we actually did was for the Westinghouse uh, 2100 for a power plant that had to have it because otherwise they were going to have to shut down to work on one MCC bucket. We've done the Model 6 for uh, Square D, the model, uh, the, uh, the GE... Uh, e9000 uh, any other questions okay And again, don't be afraid to ask because you're, you're just seeing a small section of our products today. So if you don't see something, please ask us and we'll be more than happy to respond to you at info at cbsarcsafe.com or 1-877-472-3389. What I'd like to do is introduce, uh, nope, nope, or call AEMC. They're asking about, uh, okay, if somebody's got a question about stainless switch gear, we've done special applications for stainless uh, where we use mounting lugs or we'll put a, a mounting bracket on the motor control center or on a safety switch and have our remote switch actuator be able to operate that way. And so we've done also the stuff for aluminum enclosures also. So those are one of the other concerns people may have. And, and if we've got, we're, we do our best so that you don't have to modify things. Uh, if 
need be. Uh, we've also done clamps so that it can fit on a piece of stainless or aluminum when at all possible, because again, we don't want you to have to modify your switch gear if at all possible to be able to use our products. Safety switches, NEMA 4X enclosures, these are the types of things that we've done. Uh, the other thing, uh, like if you've got Square D uh, QMB switches, uh, these are things that we've done remote actuators for and uh, things that uh, the people here at AEMC have uh, lots of uh, replacement products to be able to help people out with that. Uh, one other product that they do have, uh, just if anybody's curious, is bus duct plugs, and we've done some remote switch actuators for bus duct plugs also. Uh, so the next question, is there an overload, overload safety in case the bucket fails to operate properly, a handle gets stuck during an operating patient, op, during operation due to lack of maintenance? Which if On some RSKs, there is a torque feature. There is a torque feature on some of our RSK systems, so... When we work to develop a system, we work to measure how much force should be required because we don't want to be breaking a handle and trying to use a lot more force than should be required to do that. So we're working to make sure when we develop products that we take into account forces required to protect the switch here also. Uh, so the next question from Denzel is, the RSA is the model that covers the most switches, more so the product line of the RSAs. The, the RSAs, are remote switch actuators, and those are developed for a basic line. So I'd have two here for a Square D Model 6. I'd have two for what we call size one through four, which is this for the Eaton Cutler Hammer uh, Westinghouse uh, 2100 series. And then you'd have a larger one, which is for what's called a size five handle operator. So that's, that's how we do it. The, and we have over, I think it's close to 400 remote switch actuators for motor controls and uh, for safety switches, for uh, molded case circuit breakers, for bus duct plugs, and things like that. We have a total of 40 remote switching kits. Are there any more questions? I'd like to thank everybody for taking the time to watch. Again, we're at Advanced Electric and Motor Controls in Irving, Texas, AEAMC.com. And if you have questions, please look them up online for what they can do to help you out with your motor control centers, panel boards, insulated case circuit breakers, and other low voltage needs. For us at Group CBS and for those of us at CBSArcSafe.com, Info at cbsarctic.com is the easiest way to send us an email to send in a request to ask if we've done something for you. Uh, look us up online and uh, thank you again for your time today.